Good afternoon, good morning, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. So, the songs that came through for today's reading were, let's see, what were they? The first song that came through was, um, Dave Finley, Stand By Me. The second song was, I'm Sorry by Buck Cherry. And the third song was, She Talks to Angels by the Black Crows. So somehow those songs factor into today's reading. All right, let's see. I have a new book now. It's called Biscuits, Butter, and Blessings <clears throat> by the same person. No, no author has been indicated. Let's see what the message might be. A thorn by any name. To keep me from becoming conceited because of the surpassingly great revelations, there was given me a thorn in the flesh, a messenger from Satan to torment me. 2 Corinthians 12.7 Paul traveled about preaching and teaching in more territory and with more zeal than anyone else <clears throat> in the New Testament. Plucking souls like firebrands out of the enemy's hand and winning them to the kingdom of heaven. He was a real thorn in thorn to Satan. So why did God, God allow the enemy to become such a thorn to Paul? Read further on in 2 Corinthians 12, 7 through 9, and it's pretty easy to see why. God saw Paul's heart. He knew that the vision and revelation given to Paul for the church would bring him notoriety, and that Paul's and that Paul might be tempted to boast in himself, allowing Satan to be a thorn in Paul's flesh may have been God's way of protecting him from becoming conceited or prideful. Those who are full of themselves are never, <clears throat> will never experience the fullness of God. Faith check. Was Paul's thorn in the flesh a physical ailment, or could he have been haunted by horrific memories of persecuting fellow believers? Though Paul did not share the nature of his torment, we know that God did not remove the thorn, though Paul asked him on three separate occasions. God sometimes uses the enemy as an instrument to refine and strengthen a believer's faith, but only within the limitation and parameter set by God himself. We can complain because rose bushes have thorns or rejoice because thorn bushes have roses, Abraham Lincoln. And if you read on, Paul had problems with his eyes. He was unable to see. He had to have other people to read the letters that were written to him by the various churches. So some speculate that the thorn in Paul's flesh was his poor eyesight. And I can certainly relate because I have poor eyesight and it can be very troublesome not to be able to read, not to be able to see. But Paul could do so much more than see with his spiritual eyes 
I mean, his physical eyes. He can see with his spiritual eye. All right, using the black dag, dag, deck. Let's see what exactly is. Whoa, it's wet here. Here we go again with getting the cards wet. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> The world card is here. There's something that's almost over. And what's the energy to overcome? The Hierophant in reverse. And what's going to pull it together? So far, everything is coming out in reverse. What's going to pull it together? The Fool and the Tower. The Fool is upright. The Tower is in reverse. <clears throat> and this is transforming. Death is here. Scorpio is here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries twice. Taurus and Taurus. Alright, let's see if we can find out how this happened. Wrong deck. Show me how this happened, please. Wrong deck again. Show me how this happened, please. Here. How did this happen to the correct deck? Some sorry. Oh, Jesus, I can't go back. I can't change anything. How did this happen? So somebody made a mistake. Your friends miss your face. Go solo and don't let it all hang out. Alright, so your friends miss you. You want to be single and don't let it all hang out. Alright, what's being hidden? Keep that shit to yourself. I love being criticized, says no one ever. And what's being shown? Agree to disagree. And what's going to happen next? You're fucking stressed. Why are you so fucking stressed? A lot. That's what. <clears throat> You're stressed because you have to pack your bags. You have to tell somebody. You carry too much. And you need to stop trying to control every damn thing. Alright, so your friends miss your face. You want to be alone and don't let it all hang out. So maybe a friend missed your face and they let it all hang out. Keep that shit to yourself. Secretly, don't talk to me about whatever it is you're letting hang out. Secretly, keep that between us. And... One of you wants to agree to disagree. You're going to pack your bags. You're going to open your mouth, talk, use big words like acknowledge, empath empathize, and you're going to talk to somebody. 
Because you feel like you're giving too many fucks. This could be literal fucks or this could be just caring too much. And you're going to stop trying to control this because you're stressed. And <clears throat> you think you have them all figured out, but you don't. And love the one you're with. This includes you. Now, let's see if we can find out a little bit more about how this happened. How did this happen, Spirit? All in the upright. You first. You know where to find me. Because you can't be trusted. Somebody's arrogant. They're all in your head. They're trying to control everything. They're working. And you want to make them prove it. You want to make them prove that this can work. Alright. What's being hidden besides keep that shit to yourself? That you're on the verge of telling someone how you feel. How do you feel? Like this was unintentional. It caused a lot of drama. You're trusting your intuition. You're unfazed. You're missing someone. And you had to let them go. And what's being shown... <clears throat> that you have a new love and they're the only one for you. Alright, and what's going to happen next? You're going to masturbate. You're going to have a rebound because you're fantasizing. Why are you doing all that? Because you're practicing forgiveness. You're in denial. You're stalking. You're alone. You're telepathic. You're asking yourself, or someone is, was the grass greener because you erased everything about me? That sucks. You had a lot of burdens. There's a divine union, and somebody's dating. Alright, show me a little bit more about how this happened, Spirit. Somebody was guarded and feeling vulnerable, and they were avoiding this. Why were they avoiding this? Divine masculine was here. Being gratitude. Having gratitude, abundance, and being present. But they have lack and doubt. Why do they have lack and doubt? Because they feel guilty for sabotaging something. What's being hidden? Their family, home, and commitment. What's being shown? The inner child, empowerment, and being in separation. And what's going to happen next? There's somebody new. Divine time is here and <clears throat> some illusions. What are the illusions when it comes to somebody new in divine timing? This is a soul tie. You're going to have stability, harmony, and flow. But there's disharmony. Disharmony triggers and conflict. Clarify the harm disharmony. Disharmony triggers and conflict. Somebody's pissed off. Because they're romancing this. Oh, card in the wrong deck alert. Two of Cups. So you have a relationship with somebody new and you're mad because you're romanticizing your old relationship. What's the truth about the old relationship? It's almost over. And you're awakening and remembering. What are they awakening and remembering? You're purging, you're crying because of some deception. You wanted to have you wanted to have a unity, a union with somebody, but you realize you deceived this person. And it had to do with an unexpected storm and a new place to live. 
Divine Feminine on the bottom of the deck. What happened with the unexpected storm? <coughs> Your spirit guides were assisting. And what are they assisting with? You to see your part in this. The control tactics. And the darkness. There's a darkness here. Somebody was fragmented, lost, and was rejected. All right, show me how this happened further. Somebody had reached their limit, and somebody was unconditionally loving. Why did they reach their limit with that? Because they were conflicted and confused when it came to purging or crying. What was being hidden? Only you. Let them go. Alright, we'll see, Sean. That you're apprehensive and guarded, but there's something is being transformed. And it's divine feminine. Divine feminine is being transformed. What does that transformation look like? It looks like them running from a spiritual connection. And what's going to happen next? They're going to be avoiding somebody who's shallow. Why are they avoiding somebody shallow? Because this person is pretending. And they have consequences for making you wait so long. And they're tricky. With. They have a lot of confusion. And. There's something they're not telling you. Alright, let's find out what it is they're not telling you. What is it they're not telling us, Spirit? May we see, please? That somebody told them that you were full of it. I love when you fall asleep on the phone with me. And I wish I would have talked to you when I had the chance. What would the other person say to them? I'm afraid to tell you how I really feel about you because I want a booty call. What's going to be the outcome of the booty call? I can't send this. I reread all of our text messages and I want to marry you one day with, I will never forgive you, you're so messy. And how are you? We haven't talked in forever. So apparently you guys haven't talked in forever. Alright, let's see what would come out of the hidden truth deck. How would this person say out of the hidden truth deck? I don't want to know. What do you not want to know? I don't want to know, but I want you back. What would the other person say? I have trouble with intimacy, and will you ever make things right? Will they? Your intellect arouses me. I find you so attractive. You inspire me, and we don't share the same values. Why don't you share the same values? Because you see life differently now. You would do it all again. And I wonder how you feel. How do they feel? Card in the wrong deck. They want to they want to break up with somebody. Card in the wrong deck. Yes, it's too late. So it's too late for this relationship. Why is it too late? Because I watch your social your social media. What do you see when you watch their social media? That you feel drawn to them. Card in the wrong deck alert. You feel drawn to them and you're so easy to see through. What do they see though? That I daydream about a life with you. So it doesn't sound like it's too late, but you're saying it is. I am not over you. Why are you lying like this? 
because I can't reach out and I can't do this. Why can't you do this? I feel happy with you. What the fuck is going on here? <clears throat> so patiently waiting. And I feel the sexual tension. So really all you want is a booty call is what it looks like to me. And I can see why that's not going to work. Alright. Why is the world here? Because of a nine and eight of swords. It's like, I'm tired of being up all night worrying about this. And I can't sleep at night. I feel imprisoned. You have somebody new though. Why is the Hierophant here in reverse? Because somebody wants to show love big time. They have no choice. They want to show love and they feel like they have learned a lot of lessons. Alright. So. Why is the Fool here? Because of healing. <coughs> Somebody is about to ghost a karmic partner that they're healing first. There's hope for them to reject a karmic partner. This karmic partner wants nothing but sex from them. Who are they showing love to, Spirit? The devil is here and the hangman. Pisces is here with Capricorn. So there's, they're coming out of a stuck place with a lot of desire. Or they don't have a lot of desire. They don't, they're, they're in a stuck place where they don't have a lot of desire for a karmic partner. How do they feel about the other person? They hide their feelings and they're deceiving themselves. They're confused about whether or not to move forward. If they move forward, what might happen? They'll be strong, and if they don't, they're waiting for results. There's an Ace of Cups here, and an Ace of Pentacles, and a Hierophant. So if you don't move forward, you're going to regret it because you're going to try and control this. If you do move forward, you're going to have a new love, a new place to live, and possibly a marriage with the King of Wands. Outcome of all of this. The waiting game is in the wrong deck with mind games. Somebody's kept you waiting a long time and played mind games with you. Why is death on the bottom of the deck? Because you were wishing that this person would move towards you, but they set boundaries with you. They didn't want to juggle you. They were conflicted. <coughs> and they had a lot of desire for a queen of pentacles that they wanted to take a risk with. Should they take a risk with this person? Somebody is being divinely guided to know that it's time. They were cold hearted. Why were they so cold hearted? Somebody got hurt in the past. They put in all the work and they are working. What do you mean they're working? They're manifesting and waiting. They're, they are using their intuition about moving to the next stage in love and making a transformation. What might be the outcome of that? It's undecided. What are they leaning towards? Wish fulfillment and justice when it comes to a sexual encounter. Clarify the justice when it comes to a sexual encounter. There's going to be a wheel and there's a friend that's going to come in and tell you the truth. What is the truth? 
But this person is quite attached temperance is here with the moon. We have Cancer, Sagittarius, what a catch, and somebody didn't want to take, a, take love because they thought this person was better than them. What's the truth, Spirit? That it's time to clean up the karma. Use good judgment. Sagittarius is here. Awakening. To how much this relationship will bring them happiness. And this is about to move forward. Alright, if it moves forward, what might that look like? Balance. Being released from the other relationship. It's fate. Set some boundaries. And the outcome. You're on different pages with who? Somebody that's strictly sexual. So you're strictly sexual with a soulmate. Alright, what's going to be the outcome here? There's a soulmate that's interference. And you're awakening to the fact that you have chemistry with somebody. Alright, what should they do about this chemistry? Warning. Why are you giving this a warning? Because it's a friendship that's protected. They give you support. Stability and passion. Use your intuition. With... Why should they use your intuition? Because you're learning a spiritual lesson when it comes to children. Anything else that we need to know? You're going to get a second chance. Be patient. It's a twin flame. They're going to take a leap of faith because they have an obsession. And abundance. Why is obsession? Oh, warning is here. Why is warning here? Because someone's playing hard. What's going to be the outcome of playing hard? Healing. And making a decision and being open. Wait. Why are we waiting? Because of the truth, the trust, because of trust and go slow. You're going to have forgiveness. You've mastered a spiritual lesson here. Now there's going to be apology. Use your intuition. Put away the computer. Finances are a factor to true love. <coughs> Alrighty then. Alright, let's see if we can find out what the gossip is. What's the gossip here, Spirit? The gossip is that somebody's sick, they're in their feelings, they're protecting themselves, and it's a private relationship. What's going to be hidden? That somebody's getting a room, somebody's trash, and somebody's a diamond girl born to shine. What's going to be shown that somebody's running away? What's going to happen next? Somebody says, I hate nothing about you. I've been investigating you. You betrayed me in your total drama and action with setting the record straight. What is the record being straight? This is a love story once upon a time, and I'm setting the record straight. Clarify setting the record straight. I'm keeping a promise because I made bad choices. And you don't want to hear this. What if they do hear this, though? You'll know that I'm fulfilling a fantasy. Anything else we need to know? You're venting to somebody about somebody else's issues. Somebody's busy. They're expecting a new beginning and they're having arguments and putting someone in their place because this person is a hater. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. 
Alright, Sacred Destiny, what would you like to say about this? There's going to be a transformation. You can trust and take action. What do you mean, take action? When it comes to love and fulfillment and security and miracles and a new beginning, you're going to have your freedom and an opportunity. Beautiful. All right, let's see what your opportunity might look like. What this opportunity might look like for your real estate, angelic help, the office, being inspired, and having <clears throat> peacemaking. What about the other person? They're juggling, promoting, and networking. Outcome of all of that justice, divine timing. And making mistakes, outcome of mistakes, parenthood, having transportation, the underworld, and the rescuer. Anything else we need to know here? Somebody needs to get grounded. What else? Somebody's a workaholic. If they're going the wrong way, they, they're supposed to be an artist who is self made, making an investment. Outcome of an investment. The outcome of the investment is going to be your comfort, your animals, your business taking off, and the conflict that's going to lead to a windfall. Beautiful. Be persistent. Be persistent. All right. <clears throat> what guidance would you give us, Spirit? Guidance, please, for the collective. One, please. Guidance, please, for the collective. Spirit, come on now, man. One, please. One card, please. One card, please. I'll take them. What the hell? We have Peacock Priestess, Shaman of Swans, and Fairy Grimoire. Let's see what this is. Peacock Priestess number 24. If you feel impatient for something to happen or worried that you're not accomplishing all that you want to achieve quickly enough, then take heart. The universe is working with you, not against you. So, uh, why can't I see? Is working again, is working. Is working with you, not against you, to bring your cherished dream to life. Even times when not much seems to be happening, our times are part of the creative process. Enhancing times when energy becomes intense, active, and it, it becomes intense and, and active. What will be the most helpful for you in your dreams right now is rest. During this pleasurable rest, huh. 
Behind the scenes, some spiritual magic is going to be made. Shaman of Skulls, number 34. I'm sorry, I can't see well. I have a thorn in my flesh. I have a thorn in my flesh. In your heart, you have been asking for something different. Something more. And the universe is answering your prayers. You do not need to be afraid of the changes happening or that are going to happen. They have heard the answer from the universe. See how it is going. Okay, they are all. Oh, God. You might feel uncertain because you cannot see how it is all going to work out, but know that the universe is caring for you and will provide for you every step of the way. There is nothing that you need to avoid and so much that you will gain. I hope I'm doing this justice. Number 20. Daring Dreamer. You don't need to adjust your dreams to fit in with what others say is realistic, sensible, or practical. Why seek to limit the power of the universe? With negative expectation, be uncompromising with your heart wisdom and believe that the universe has your back. that the universe has put those desires there and will show you the way to step in to make to step in to take I can't read it. Do not allow someone else's Do not allow someone else to make you feel like you should change how you are, not even for a second, not even for a tiny bit. Not even for a teeny tiny little second, I guess is what it's saying. So, don't give up on your dreams. Hold tight to what you believe in. And the universe is going to help you in the most amazing way. Right now, what you need to do is rest, okay? You need to rest. Let's see what your best friend would say. I'm sorry if I screwed that all up. I tried my best. I cannot see. Your best friend would say it's okay to fail, embrace the unknown, so somehow you've made a mistake. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's give you the outcome. Somehow you're going to lighten your load. You have a spirit guide and you're going to have a new beginning. Outcome of a new beginning. You're going to have freedom. What else? You're going
going through some grieving. You're going to have compassion. Your life purpose and good luck. With your willpower. Anything else. Financial help, passion, and travel. With finding. What are they finding? Your family. Your empowerment. And answers to your financial health and psychic ability with manifestation on the bottom of the deck. Alright, I guess that's going to be a wrap for today. I hope you got something out of this. Please let me know by liking it, subscribing, and commenting. And you'll tell me you're helping. Love. Thoughts about love, anything else, hope, thoughts about love and hope, fire is here, awakening is here, truth, unity and truth, somebody's spying on you, you're beautiful is here, and knowledge is here, and communication. What's that communication going to look like? Let me see, please. It's late, really late. Why aren't you here with me? I can't love you the way that I want. What am I going to do with you? Seriously, Ann. I know your fine ass is not single. With where have you been my whole life? Um, I'm reading and smiling. <laughs> what would the other person say? I often wonder how you feel about me. How do you feel about me? How do you feel about them? Why don't you ever respond to my text in a reasonable time? I'm in a relationship with feeling you. And I'm reading our text wanting to text you back but don't want to seem pressed. And do you know who really loves you? Me, but I never tell you though. So you're in a relationship but you're feeling somebody else. Um, I don't know what to tell you to do, but being in two relationships at once is not a good idea. That's what I am going to tell you. All right, show me where the Divine Masculine is here. They're stuck, and they have a lot of pride. Where is the Divine Feminine? They are settling, and they have a lot of regret. What's pulling these two together? A soulmate. What about a soulmate? The soulmate is observing and feels like a victim. What's the truth? They received something. What about what they received? Divine Masculine is here learning a lesson and recognizing. Alright, you guys. Have a great day. I love you guys. Let me pull you a trinket. A coin, a tiger's eye, and a guitar, a birdie guitar. Trinkets from the feather bowl, please. I have <laughs> my pirate. Live your dream in my tiger's eye again. Alright guys, have a wonderful day. I love you. Bye-bye.